everyone, I'm Layla and this is John and we are Theme Park Thrill Seekers. This morning we are here in not so sunny Blackpool to go to the Pleasure Beach for the WOW Weekends. Give you a little shot of the entrance now, it's not due to open for another half an hour or so so you can see it's quite busy. A lot of people queuing to pick up their tickets but we're going to go and get ours which we pre-booked. So I've decided I'm just waiting outside for John to get these tickets because the queue is huge. Uh, Blackpool is our local theme park. Um, so I've been many, many, many times. But surprisingly, John actually hasn't really been. He's been once or twice, but he's not been for years. So he's never ridden Icon. Uh, the only ride he can ever remember going on is the big one. So he is going to be in for a super fun day today. Uh, the last time I came was last year, February half term. Um, again. Had a really good time, queues weren't too bad. You can see there's so much. I love how Blackpool have kept so much of the, the old stuff. Noah's Ark up there, I remember as a kid going on that. It was sort of like a, a fun house, if you were, you could go up to it. Now I think it's just here for decoration. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorite, favorite theme parks. Here we go. Here we are, we are on our way to the big one, I think. We've literally just got in. Uh, it's about 5 to 11. Pretty straightforward going in. You go through some metal detectors. I'm sure Layla's already said this, but it's wild weekend here in Blackpool. Uh, looking forward to it. I've not been to Blackpool for a long time. I've never been on Icon. I believe I've been on the big one once when I was about eight or nine. Never been uh, here for a long time, so we're really looking forward to it. So the park's quiet, but that's because we literally just got in. So it's not windy today. Well, it's not supposed to be windy till this afternoon, so we're hoping we're going to get straight onto the big one. Then onto Icon. No kids, just some good times and good rides. Here we go. This is a Revolution, I believe, which is a looping coaster uh, with a station up on a platform. And then over to the left here is Nickelodeon Land, and there's a few rides over there. The, uh, the area is broken up into a few different sections, and I'll try and get a, a map, a false of a map input, input now, so you can see what that looks like. Layla's still leaving me. Um, Still got really no idea where I am to be fair and I don't really know where we're going but I can see I think the entrance to the big one. So we, decide, we decided as you probably saw there we're going to go on the big one first because the wind is supposed to pick up this afternoon and I do know that the big one can be more temperamental than uh, Icon. As you can see the majority of people are going to go on Icon. But yeah really looking forward to this. Here we go. So we're just, uh, we're just currently in the queue for the big one. Here we are, we've made it. As you can see, the ride is not open yet, so there is a queue. Currently inspecting the train still, but we have seen it testing, so we're hopeful it's going to be open. There is the lift hill for a, a big, big 200 foot plus drop. And there is Layla. <laughs> so here we go. We're going on the big one. I think we'll be maybe second, third uh, ride that we should get on. So I've not been on here for about the past 12, 13 years. Layla doesn't like it, we're quite excited. The sun has come out in Blackpool, here we go. The first ride of the day setting off for the big one, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, March 2020.
John, what did you think? Really good, really good. Um, very tall, very fast. It was a back row ride. I was actually really impressed. I thought it was going to be rougher than what it was. Because a lot of people say that it can be really rough. I didn't find it too bad. Lots of air time, lots of near misses and head choppers, or whatever you think you're going to hit the side of the kind of track. It was absolutely fantastic. Really loved it. Great to get on it. It's only running one train. So get on that first if you can. That's the top tip. Because the queue gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That was absolutely brilliant. Woo! Sun's out. Next up, Icon. So this is the bit that I'm really looking forward to. John has never been on this before. How are you feeling? No, I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've watched videos. It looks like it's going to be good. It's a new ride. Uh, I'm really looking forward to a launch call, so can't wait. So excited! Slightly unpopular opinion. I thought it was uh, a little slow um, and slightly jerky. Some of the twists and turns. I don't know what it was, but they just they just made me feel a bit sick. To be fair, I don't know what it was. I mean, the, it has so much air time. It's unbelievable. That bit of the ride is fantastic. I thought the first launch was pretty good. I thought the second launch wasn't as fast as it could have been. But in all honesty, I mean, yeah, I thought it was good. Um, I don't know. I don't want to use the term overhyped. Um, but no, it was really good, a really good addition to Blackpool. But would I say, I mean, I've obviously heard a lot of people say that it's their best roller coaster in the UK. Would I say it is? Uh, probably not, but it was really good. The one thing I would say, I mean, I've been on this before, you know, as you know, um, and I didn't think it was running as fast, so I don't know if that was because it was in the morning, or, I mean, it seems to have two or three trains running, doesn't it? So I don't know whether, I, I don't know what that is, but, I mean, maybe you could comment in the comments below. I don't know if there's a reason that it would be running slightly slower. To me, it did feel slower. But anyway, overall, what would you give it? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Not as good, not as good as the big one. No the way! The big one is still the best. The no. Big one is still the best. Well, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that one. I love it. But anyway, we're off to get a coffee now. Okay, let's go and then we're <laughs> off to have a lunch. down that bobsleigh. Uh, I think one point is called the snake, but I actually really enjoyed that photo brilliant. Really good fun, quite fast, quite short, no little cute, and nice and warm in that load area. It was lovely. Sorry. The Laughing Man, founded 1935. He is one scary, scary character. And here's the real Laughing Man at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. <laughs> with her chipmunks by her side. 
So we didn't say before, but uh, we're here at Blackpool. If you've not been to the park before, the actual theme park or amusement park is just by the seafront in the centre of Blackpool. It's really uh, easy to get to in terms of once you're in Blackpool, it's pretty much in the centre of it. And the other thing that I would say is there's about three car parks around. Car parks tend to be about £15 each, um, but there is on-street parking about a quarter of a mile away. So if you don't mind walking, a quarter of a mile either side of the theme park, you can usually get parked up and, and go there. Uh oh, not good. Someone's going to be spending some money. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I like the pudding. We've got some shot glasses. It's a nice t shirt. It's got the schematics of the Colster on. And a nice icon hat as well. What have you found there? Look a little Christmas tree decoration. I know it's just been Christmas, but it's a cute setting, a little Excellent. padded box with the... Well, how much is that? Um, $7.95 or 2 for 15 So we've got an Icon backpack here. We've got a Windbreaker jacket. We've got a very thick, I've seen a few people wearing these, an Icon coat, and they're currently on offer. Uh, reduced down to $79.95. Uh, I think they are, this line has been discontinued, I believe. That's why they are cheaper. I love this hat. How good does that look? It looks good, that. It's a nice hat. Gold, gold uh, dagger symbol. Turn around. Anything on the back? Oh, turn around. There you go. Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the back. Looks good. How much is that? That one is... Oh, it doesn't actually say. We'll have to have a look. I don't know. Cool hat. A rose blossom icon snow shaker. How do you know it's rose blossom? It's pink. I think it's glitter. Oh, hey, oh, she's found another bauble there. Oh, this is the best bauble ever. Look, it's got the original Blackpool Pleasure Beach smiley face guy. I think he did have a name, but I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, how cool is that? Very cool. This jumper's not too bad either, this icon jumper. Again, how much is this one? This is priced at... Doesn't say. I'll have to put the price on when I find out. And we've got some more water bottles. A red rose blossom hoodie, some hats, some t-shirts, and another hoodie. Brilliant. Good spot. Just while we're, uh, we're off to get coffee, I just thought I'd give you a, a little bit of information in terms of today. So today is one of the WOW weekends. It's something that Blackpool Pleasure Beach operate between um, February and March, I think it is, across the weekends. So basically open just on Saturday and Sundays, and if you book it in advance, it's half price wristbands. So it's about £20 per person to come in. I think usually it's about 39 which is a really good price, actually. The park's open from 11 till 5, which is enough time to get it in. And it's actually not too busy today. So this is a Saturday. Uh, I think the first Saturday in March and it's actually not too busy we did the big one first we've just done Icon um, but yeah I mean it's a, it's, a, it's an interesting park it's quite condensed it's not as themed as you'd think it'd be um, but yeah it's really good I'm enjoying it so far so come get a coffee and uh, see what's next just walking past I just wanted to show you the uh, kind of sensory garden I think that they have here at the Pleasure Beach for obviously uh, younger children uh, it looks like it's a little walk through but again it's got um got loads of things to see I think some some herbs and stuff you can touch uh, and of course a little potting shed so uh, yeah it looks good again just to give you an idea of the food outlets that you've got you've got an oyster bar you've got some I think it's a pancake place and then you've got this roll here where you've got fish and chips you've got pasta you've got waffles you've got hot dogs you've got burgers you kind of pick what you want and then you can grab a seat and, uh, and watch uh, the rides go around. So yeah, it's really good. So I think we're going to get something to eat and then uh, we'll uh, see you on the other side. So I just wanted to uh, show you where we're eating at the minute. So we've chosen to eat in Colsters, which is a, is a restaurant just near Icon. And it's really nice, as you can see. You kind of grab your own table, sit down. It's Mexican themed by the looks of it, but they do serve ribs and chips and have a good kids menu. It's got an open kitchen. Uh, it's got a bar for alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, it does coffees, it's just great. And as you can see, 
It's got an outside area over there and it has a fantastic shot of Icon coming in that I will show you in a minute. So you get great views while you're having something to eat. So we'll wait for our food and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like and uh, give you the feedback. So our food has arrived and I've got the very healthy looking flatbread, uh, avocado and red onion flatbread and Layla has got some nachos. We did actually decide that we're going to share but I might not share these. No they look good. <laughs> some uh, cheese sauce, jalapenos, guacamole, salsa, sour cream. Look good? Looks very good. And actually not, be, not bad price, I think they're about £6 each, that's quite good. And But of course, we've got a couple of beers each as well, why not? We are in Blackpool <laughs> after all. Right, we'll get these eaten and then we'll uh, get on to something else. See you soon. So, we're feeling all refreshed now. We've just come out of coasters. Actually feeling very, very full. What about you? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I do. Yeah, the portion sizes were good and uh, the food was good. And do you know what? Like I said before, not badly priced. It was nice. Uh, did the job and uh, I think we're off to where we're going to next. Infusion now, I think. And here we go in Fusion. Not sure it's the right ride to go on after you've eaten a ton of nachos, but let's try and see what happens. So we've had a, we've had a slight change of plan. We uh, looked at the queue for Infusion and uh, Layla said it looked very big. It's going to be a while, so we've taken a slight detour and we're here on the... Big Dipper! Okay, here we go, we'll get some footage and we'll see what we think when we get off the ride. Big Dipper. Um, those of you who've been on it know that it's really old um, wooden coaster. It's great, great fun, but it is very rough. Uh, John's first time on the ride. What did you think? Uh, well, yeah, they, they, <laughs> they say don't put your hands up for a reason. Uh, <laughs> so unfortunately, I, um, I hit my hand quite hard on one of the drops uh, on the front of the carriage on the metal plane. Um, so that was. That, <laughs> I was right at the start of the ride for me, so, so I didn't enjoy the rest of it really. Uh, my hands in a lot of pain at the minute, but never mind. I'm not going to moan. Let's just say, if there was ride photos, his face would have been a picture. No, it was good. It was. He's all right though. He's yeah, all right. All right. I was just thinking a bit, but uh, no, it's a good ride, but it is uh, horrendously rough. I mean, I know these old coasters are. I know it's an old wooden coaster. But wow, was that rough. I mean, I, I, I think I need to go on it again without hitting my hand at the start to give a better review, but, but yeah, it was, it was really rough. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a good one. It's, a, it's an old one, but a good one. So we're going to work our way up now, and we're, we're going to see if we're going to go back to the original plan of Infusion. The queue still looks pretty big, so once we get up there, we'll make a decision, but we'll let you know where we're heading to next. So we have another change of plan. I don't think we're, uh, we're ever going to get on Infusion. The queue is still big. So we are heading uh, to the River Caves.
<laughs> We've got some donuts cooking, ready to be eaten. Freshly frying, Blackpool famous. <laughs> Only in Blackpool would the donuts have their own roller coaster into the sugar. Oh, going up the lift hill now. <laughs> Somebody's looking forward to eating them. <laughs> like Valhalla in sugar. <laughs> <laughs> The anticipation's killing me. <laughs> hey! There we go. Is that worth it? Yeah, it's good. Great ride. <laughs> well, I'll just say it's a huge shot for those guys. Right. Uh, left. So we're just in the queue now for the Grand National. For those of you who've not been on it before, it's actually a racing um, wooden coaster, um, but it is very, very rough. It's really, really old, this ride. So it, uh, although it's a fun ride, it is just really rough. So I'm looking forward to see how John gets on. <laughs> So we've just come off the Grand National. <laughs> what did you think? Another rough, rough coaster. No, it was good. It was good. It was good fun. Um, yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting. You might race this this other other kind of coaster next year. And um, do you know what? It was good fun actually. I was prepared, so I kept my hands inside the vehicle at all times. I don't know. I can still walk after. I don't know how I feel tomorrow because it was rough. But do you know what? Really good fun. Uh, not a long queue. Again, everyone having a good time. But you just get used to these really old coasters. But yeah, no, brilliant. Really good. Do you know what though? I always think the old ones are the best ones. They're definitely the most fun. You do get injured, but they're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah, no, it was good fun. Absolutely love this park. I just, like I said, it's so nostalgic. It's There's everything going on. Um, yeah, we're just having a good day, aren't yeah, it's we? It's good, and the sun's come out now. So yeah, you can just see the... Uh, it's the flying machines here. You've got Tango Ice Blast. Uh, sun's coming out. It's a good day. We're going to head to the souvenir shop, I believe, now. Let's go. Yes. So we're just in the shop where you can buy some authentic ride parts. This is interesting. Uh, this is the first style of shop that I've seen like this at a theme park. But this is where you can obviously buy some actual ride parts from either current or old rides. So you can see here that you've got a revolution restraint shaft there you go so that's one of those and that is uh oh that's no fantastic price, isn't it? look at that space invader running wheel oh well, there you oh, are that's from the old uh, space invader ride, ride i believe yeah it was it was such a good ride but um and how much do one of those they have prices on 25 quid 25 pound there for a wheel a got some horse props wood here. some wood from the wild miles, from the wild miles. You've got some seat belts you've got a few other bits and bobs so we're definitely going to take a look and see if there's anything of interest and here's a price list for those that are interested right off we go we're going to head across to ice blast which is a um like a tower ride that pushes you up i'll uh i'll try and get some footage of it as you can see here, there we are. So this actually used to be called the Tango Ice Blast, I think, years ago. Uh, it used to be sponsored by Tango, so we're going to get on that. There's not that big a queue, we'll see if we have a good time. Come off ice glass, it was good fun. What do you think, Layla? Really good. I used to be scared of it, but now I like it. Oh, yeah, excellent. it was really, really good. Really good. Good. I thought it was good fun as well. Got some amazing views over the sea and sun shining. It's just a good day. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're going on the carousel next. It's the Derby Racers. Derby Racers looks like a carousel to me. Hey, Ox, 
next one's in the Derby Racer. So we've just come off the Derby Racers. Uh, good fun, kind of like a horse ride carousel type thing. Goes quite fast. It was, uh, yeah, it was really good fun actually. Did you like it? Yeah, it's actually a carousel with race horses. It's really, really good. And the trick is, you can, if you do it with just holding the reins with your feet in the stirrups, that's when you know you're a pro. I think I did that. <laughs> did you? I didn't, it goes way too fast for me. That's but it. interesting it fact, interesting fact on these, if you ever go on it and you look on the bottom, the sort of blocks back in the day, they used to actually move backwards and forwards. It was really good and you could have races with the people in your row, but obviously health and safety, they've got rid of those now. Still goes but fast though. Still a good ride. It's a good ride. <laughs> So I think we're going to uh, head over to these flying machines next. Just look like a, um, a swing in the shape of um, spacecrafts. So it should be good. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day here in Blackpool. Let's have some good times. So we're just going to go up to the flying machines. You ready, Layla? Ready. Woo. You ready? Here we go. Flying machines! Hold on, what's going on here? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> has got a big, big bubble waffle. Wow. Look at the size of that. What's on that? There's Nutella, there's M&M's, there's chocolate honeycomb, there's Oreo, there's chocolate flake, there's a honeycomb ice cream and double chocolate ice cream. Boom, and what, what do you think of it? Oh. Very, very, very good. Somebody is going to be full, full, full. But that looks good. We'll have to try that. Let's go and get on some rides whilst we're getting the queue while we're eating it. So, hey, we're going to meet the bubble waffle in the ghost train. That should be good fun. A bit of a queue. Never mind, let's go. We're just uh, queuing up the ghost train. We've just finished our waffle, what do you think? It was really good, I now feel a little bit sick. I feel really sick, it was really nice, there was loads of whipped cream on it, loads of ice cream, loads of fillings, like we said before, but I feel really sick, so that's like a, a meal we've had. So five donuts each, and then a big bubble waffle to share, so. But now we're about to go on the ghost train. Which I'm sure will make us feel much, much better. So we're hoping yeah. that we're going to see Cloggy. So I've just said, I think the Illuminate. carriage is number 21, that you're meant to see him on. Um, and I've just seen a number 21 go past, just as I said it. That's weird. Look at the percentage. So, fingers crossed we don't get a number 21. So this, this, this is just the fact that she believes this girl's strange haunted. But it is, it is. But we didn't tell you what we thought the girls' train. Ooh. What, did you, <laughs> what, what did you think? It was spooky. I was scared. I'm always scared every time I go on it. But what did you think? It was good. No, it was good actually. What I'd say is that it, there was definitely some better effects in there than I thought. I thought from the outside it was going to be really dated. And there wasn't. There was a few modern effects actually. I wouldn't say it was as scary as Layla makes out, but it's, it's good. Part, it's part of the charm, though. It is a dated um, ghost train, so it, where it could be spooky. We didn't get a number 21 though. No, we didn't. And we didn't see Cloggy. No, we did it, but <laughs> it was good fun all around, so we're in the queue for infusion. Uh, I'll get some ride shots and uh, I'll let you know how it is when we get off. Queue time. We queued up for like 40 minutes. 
Um, but still, controversial, but I actually really, really, really like Infusion. I've always said that. It's a really fun ride. Um, but yeah, what did you think, Dad? Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, it wasn't as rough as uh, I have heard people say before. It was actually quite good. It was like, um, I don't know, a, a not so good nemesis, but it was actually really good, good fun. But you've got to keep your head pinned back because otherwise <laughs> you don't. Your head starts wrapping around like that. And luckily, we both kept our heads pinned back. But I would say it was really good, actually. I'm glad that I went on it. Good, good. I told you you'd like it. So now we've literally got like 25 minutes left before the park closes. Um, so we're going to head over to just in the queue for Icon. We're going to try for another ride, but the queue's massive. So we're going to try Revolution, Steeple Chase, or maybe even go back on the big one. We're just going to check the queue times and we'll let you join us on the next ride. So we'll have to give you an update on uh, Revolution in a minute because we just had to rush to get to the queue for Steeple Chase. It's probably going to be the last ride of the day. So this is kind of a, a tracked horse carousel ride. I don't know. Not really seen anything like it before. You basically sit on a horse and go around the track. And I think we're planning to race each other. Where, as you well, here you go, you can see here. So these are kind of the, the ride vehicles. And you load up and away you go. See you ready, Layla? Ready. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll let you know what our thoughts when we uh, come off. Here she comes. The loser! <laughs> Total fix. Total fix. No way. <laughs> Pleasure Beach, we're just on our way out. Um, how's your day been? Yeah, good, good. We just had our last ride on Icon. Um, yeah, it was good actually. Yeah, we had the last, we were on the last ride of the day. We were on the back row. It was definitely quicker than it was this morning. It definitely felt quicker. I don't know, maybe maybe this morning I'd just come off the big one, which is a fantastic ride. I don't know, but it definitely felt better. It definitely felt better. It felt more fun. It felt faster. It felt, I don't know, less bumpy. I don't feel sick coming off it. So yeah, I was really impressed actually, and actually really good. Uh, I'm really glad that we made the decision to go on uh, Icon rather than the big one because it has, it has changed my views slightly. I was really impressed with it. It's good. And, and in terms of the day, I think it's been brilliant. Yeah. But I said with Icon, I think the fact that we got the back row, I've never been on the back row before. Um, I don't know why you have to be tall to be on the back row, whether it is because it is faster. If any of you know, please comment yeah, in no below. Idea. But um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Icon. Probably still my favourite ride here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, but yeah, over, overall, it's been fab. Sun's been out. There's been not many queues. It's been fantastic. Um, so yeah, like I said this morning, one of the wow weekends. So twenty pound in. Considering getting a season pass, we're not we're not we're pretty local to be fair, and it's been a really good day. And the re reality is, obviously, we've been out without the kids today, so we managed to get on the big rides. But we, I'm, I mean, I've yet to see Nickelodeon Land, um, you know, Alice in Wonderland ride. We've not been on all that kind of side of the park, so I haven't, I haven't had a chance to go on it because we've been going on all the big rides. So. so we definitely, definitely will be coming back. But going back to the season pass, um, just in case any of you are thinking about it, uh, this morning when we got our tickets, they did say go to the Globe at the. End 
end of the day, but obviously it is the end of the day now and the globe is now closed. <laughs> so we have to do it over the phone. So if you are wanting to get one, I would recommend doing it in the morning. And if you're all manic running to the big one before the queues start, just get yourself there back on lunch or something yeah. just before it closes. Cause they didn't tell us it had closed at five. I mean, the reality is if you upgrade, it's 90 pounds instead of the, the hundred and odd pounds that you usually, if you do a while weekend as well. So it's really worth it. But and yeah. you get your discount in the on merchandise yeah, and do, yeah. food and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, so definitely worth doing. And I think we'll, we'll be doing that when we get home, won't we? Yeah, I think we will. And just, you know, I think that today has been absolutely brilliant. You know, it's been nice. It's always nice to have the kids with you and to see their faces. But you know what? Every so often, it's nice to hit the big rides, do what you want to do as adults, get something to eat, get an alcoholic drink, get on some more rides and have a fantastic day. Yeah, it's been fab. It's been fab. It's been a rarity. I don't yes. know if we'll get to do this again soon, but it's it's been good. It's been good, yeah. So, so yeah, we'll wrap up the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching if you have watched. Um, hopefully you've liked it and you've enjoyed it and we'll give you a little bit more information about Blackpool. Um, and yeah, obviously, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe and like and tune into our next vlog. Thank you very much. See you later. See you soon. Marcel's del Terror. It's a walkthrough with an additional cost. But I don't know what's scarier, that person or that person. <laughs>